Welcome to the Grand Dam. Steeped in over 200 years of history and tradition, including the distinction of being Cork's very first hotel, the Imperial Hotel is the Grand Dam of Cork. In 1813, the Committee of Merchants of Cork commissioned the young Cork architect, Thomas Dean, to design and build the commercial rooms on the South Mall. The dignified facade of Dean's buildings stands virtually unchanged today and forms the front portion and main entrance of the Imperial Hotel. We've had many notable guests that have visited the hotel. Frederick Douglass, an escaped slave and abolitionist, gave a speech in 1845. A plaque commemorating his stay was unveiled at the Imperial Hotel in 2012. And in 2023, the Frederick Douglass Lounge was opened in his honour. Inspired by the example of London and Dublin, the zeal of charitable ladies of Cork held meetings in 1888 within our halls. These meetings started Cork Penny Dinners, originally a soup kitchen during the famine times. After negotiating the Irish Free State Treaty in 1921, Michael Collins spent his last night on earth at the Imperial Hotel before he was shot on that fateful day on the 22nd of August 1922 at Bailna Blaw, West Cork. On June 24th, 1961, Prince Rainier and Princess Grace of Monaco, along with their children, stayed with us in Cork as part of their royal visit to Ireland, which saw thousands flock to the South Mall to catch a glimpse of the Oscar-winning actress turned Her Serene Highness Grace Kelly, a major icon of screen and style. In the mid-1970s, the LGBTQ plus community began to meet in the Imperial Hotel on Sundays. The hotel offered a safe and secure place to meet. At the time, the hotel was nicknamed Bangladesh because of the colourful and decadent decor. In 2020, the WHO declared a global pandemic and the Imperial Hotel had to shut its doors. The Imperial family didn't even have a key for the hotel as it was the first time in its long history that the hotel had to be closed. Despite that, the Imperial family stayed busy with updates and changes, including the renovation of our Pembroke restaurant now sketch and enhancements to our iconic lobby. Since we've opened our doors again, we've been humbled by awards and accolades, including Ireland's Best City Hotel and the Gold Medal Awards Supreme Winner. In 2023, we proudly welcomed our new owners, the Fitzgerald family, one of Ireland's biggest hospitality groups. Thank you for being part of our history. <laughs>